Hey guys, this is Scope. What is going on? I have a little something for you today. It's called a follow-up video to my recording setup. This is the how I record slash edit slash upload videos all into one. This might be a long one because it is quite the process and I plan to go in depth so that you guys will never have any further questions about this. So if I ever get a message or comment about this after the fact, um, I may forgive you because you might be new and you might not know this video exists, but I will pretty much just paste this URL of this video and hope to never hear from you again about this certain subject. So ha! Huh, that should stop you for a while. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm being an a-hole, but seriously. So what I have here is my desktop. I am not capturing my second monitor simply because there's no point really and it's probably a pain in the butt to do. So pretty much I have a little rocket dock over here that has all my icons, so I how I record, uh, we're going to start with Mega Man Battle Network 3. So how I record my emulator LPs or whatever. Pretty much I open Visual Boy Advance and here it is. Uh, I just, oh nope. That's if you want to open a classic Game Boy game, for example Pokemon Yellow. But if you want to open a Game Boy Advance claim, just click open and here we'll open Mega Man Battle Network 3 and there we go, for some reason it changes back to Windows Vista and the game will start here. Now you can press start and load the game through the natural saves but what you probably want to do here is just load a save state or whatever, right? So I load save state 10 because that's my most recent one. And then once you do that, you're going to go to tools here uh, when you're ready to record. So what I would do is now I open up the sound recorder. I It's a program that automatically comes with Windows Vista. A lot of whatever you're using probably has a simple program like this. Just search sound recorder. I believe it's in accessories too. Um, so I don't use the screen recorder at all, like which is the one I'm using right now, like most people think. I actually just use uh, the built-in recorder. So pretty much what I do is I go to Tools here, and I go to Record. And the Visual Boy Advance has this option built into it, and I know the SNES 9X does too, I believe. And you just go to Start Abbey Recording. So then it's going to ask you to pick a name for the file. We'll name it BB. Uh, usually see I name it Mega Man Battle Network, and then whatever episode number it is. So we'll just put it on the desktop and save it there. So now it's going to ask you for the video compression. Now if you can leave it at full frames uncompressed. Uh, that's probably the best quality, but it's going to turn out into a huge file, especially if you're up, um, recording long videos. So sometimes I'll leave it at that if I feel like you know waiting forever to upload it. But if you have you know kind of a semi-par computer and you don't want to wait, put Microsoft Video One here. Now you can change the compression quality up to 100 if you want, but it'll just put the compression quality at 75 here and usually that'll still look fine most of the time this is what I do and it still turns out pretty good so then don't click OK yet what I do to kind of sync up the sound and the video compression is I click start recording on this first to start recording my voice and then I click OK on this and it will start recording the video right after that there might be about you know a few milliseconds delay but you could just edit that out in the video so pretty much you click start recording here and you're recording and then you click OK here and now you're recording here and you can control it via the keypad or the mouse I mean sorry the what is this the freaking keyboard duh or you can use your controller whatever you're doing so there you go and now when you're done what I do is I just go to tools record and you stop every recording and then it'll save it here on the desktop and then you click stop sound recorder and you just name it whatever you want we'll name it BB2 Sure, and usually I save it in my specified episodes folder, but for the convenience of this video, I'm going to save it to the desktop. So there we go, then you close this, and before you close this, make sure you know you save your state. Obviously, I'm not going to do that because I don't need to. So yeah, do that, and then you close it, and then you're good, and then it changes back to Vista, whatever. So anyway, here we have our two files. Now, if you look at this file, it's obviously not going to be very large because I didn't record very long, but it's 18 megabytes, and it was just 16 seconds. So when I record a 15-minute video, usually it's pretty big file size, about 1 gigabyte or whatever. So Also, if you'll notice it when you watch the video, um, I'm not going to demonstrate it, but if you watch the video and you skip ahead to like you know, 10 minutes into the video or whatever, you'll notice the audio is desynced, uh, the game audio and the game play. And this happens in Visual Boy Advance. Uh, with its recording for some reason but it happens universally pretty much to everybody it's just it's just a fact so then uh, I have this program that luckily fixes that pretty easily here uh, where is it so in my little folder here I have virtual dub so you want to download this virtual dub just google it and you open the program and it's this simple it's just a little program here 
very simple, not large or whatever. And all you do is drag your video file into there. Now it's going to show you two screens, your input and your output. So you go through a few options here. What I do is you go to video and frame rate. And then you click this little option here, change so video and audio durations match at whatever frames per second your video is at. So then you click OK. Now you want to compress the audio. So this is what this is doing is now we've already got the audio and video to match. Now we just want to compress it so that the file's not so big. So first of all, you change the audio to full processing mode like I just did so that we can compress it. And uh, what I like to usually do is click some kind of MP3. Uh, I downloaded this MP3 codec specifically because it's kind of cool. So you pick that one. And then we want to compress the video too. So go to video compression. And usually I click uh, Microsoft Video 1 because it matches the compression type we chose for uh, the actual emulator itself. And as you can see, the quality is at 100. It's all good. So click OK. Then you just go to File, Save as Avi, and you'll title it here, and then it will give you a little thing, it'll give you a little progress bar, and when it's done you'll have a new file. I'm not going to do that because we don't need to. Now, what I do now is I am on the other screen and I'm going to open up Sony Vegas 9 Pro. Wah, 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 wah. Because that is where we edit our videos. Yay. So we've got our two videos here. Naturally, um, this would be the compressed version, ideally, so pretend this is the compressed version that we just made. Oh, so here we have Vegas Pro 9. So pretty much, you just go to File, Import Media, or you can drag it if you like. So we'll go to the desktop, grab our two files, and open. And here we go. So now you just drag it onto the timeline, and here you have your video and your audio. And usually the durations will match. If not, you can come pretty close. And, you know, I do whatever tools I need in here. You know, I split clips. You can edit in transitions and all that stuff. You can put in video effects like uh, you can sharpen the video and whatever that. And you can you can take off the aspect ratio change. You could just mess around with it. And pretty much once I'm done editing in here, I just click File Render As. And then you title it, pick the format of the template if you want it to be HD, all that wonderful crap. It's Obviously I go into more detail, but uh, yeah, so that's what it is. And I'm not going to do that, but that's just showing you that. And then usually the videos take quite a bit to render. This is probably the longest part of the process is letting the video render because I make them as high quality as possible for the most part. So I do that, and uh, it creates these temporary files, which I always just delete after I'm done. And then, for example, it will give us this, which is the fully rendered, ready-to-go file. It will be in .mp4 format because that's what I render in, and that's what's, I believe, most compatible with YouTube. So then I go to YouTube and I upload the video, obviously, and I wait for it to get pretty close to done. I actually use Google Chrome to upload my video because it's more friendlier with YouTube, naturally, since Google is owns YouTube. And, uh, yeah, Firefox sometimes has trouble uploading videos for me. It'll give me some random crap. So then I'll upload the video and I'll delete these to save space on my computer and we'll be done. So that's that. That's how I record off the emulator. Now, for Shadow of the Colossus, what I do is I turn my Hapog... Hapodge uh, recorder on. I turn on my PS2 and my TV. And then I open this little program here that came with the Hapodge, the ArcSoft Total Media Extreme. You can't see it because it's on my dock over here, but it's just a little program that comes with it. So then it'll pop up with this. So you want to go to Record Video, and bam, right over here. And it should pop up with this little screen. Now, when your Hapodge is turned on, it will have the source here as the Hapodge HD PVR, blah, blah, blah. Give you a whole bunch of options over here and uh, it'll show whatever's on your TV screen or your input right here and then you'll obviously just click start capture um, you click the saved format it saves it in .m2ts format where you want it to save it to and then uh, I also use the since this doesn't record my voice I also just use the sound recorder on the side here and I sync them up in Sony Vegas so then I record here click stop when I'm done click stop on the sound recorder put them both into Vegas the same way as Mega Man Battle Network, edit it, render it, and upload it. And that's it. It's pretty simple. I mean, that's really all that I really do. Um, you know, I could go into a little more depth about whatever and whatever, but about, like, editing, but there's no real reason for that. Everybody edits differently, and uh, if you're not familiar with Sony Vegas, it would probably not make sense to you. And even if it did, it doesn't matter because you probably have your own way of doing things. So yeah, that's pretty much it. A few side notes. Um, if you don't have Sony Vegas uh, Pro 9, 
you can use Windows Movie Maker. It works just as well, and it's a lot more user friendly. Um, if, for example, and another example um, for games that don't have built-in recorders, for example, Minecraft. What I would do then is I would just use my screen recorder, like I am now, the little Camtasia screen recorder. Pretty much, you open it up right here and you will pick the height and width of the video you just stretch the little box and you make it to the exact size of the minecraft thing and then i was recording uh... camtasia actually records your voice if i move this over here you guys can see it captures the audio as well so you can do that or you can do it separately with the sound recorder like i do so you can do that and it's wonderful and great and everybody loves it but i was having problems with minecraft because uh, i can't get camtasia to record the game audio for shit so not really useful, and that's why I like the built-in feature of the Visual Boy Advance there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, hope this video helped you. If you want to use an emulator in the future, that's probably the best way to do it, especially a Game Boy Advance emulator. I haven't really used any others, uh, so I couldn't give you certain tips with, like, Super Nintendo emulators or whatever. But, yeah, also... Um, if you're using a Visual Boy Advance emulator, what I recommend is don't use the fast forward function to like speed up gameplay because that will desync the audio even worse. And even after putting it in virtual dub, sometimes it will be horribly desynced. So, and it kind of messes with the video too. So I don't recommend that. And um, yeah, that's all I can really say. Pretty much, uh, capturing Shadow of the Colossus is quite simple with the programs they give you and once you get it all set up it's not that bad and as for my vlog videos I pretty much just record them I plug my flip into the computer and it automatically opens up Flipshare I save the video to my computer and I just upload the video straight like that and if I want to edit a few things out I throw it into Vegas render it and upload it it's uh, really simple so yeah not that hard so if you guys have any questions you can leave them in the comments um, so yeah that's pretty much it that is how I record slash edit slash upload my videos on YouTube here. Alright guys, this is Scope signing off, and I hope you've had quite an informative and lovely day. Peace out.